Hello Aries! Welcome to my channel. My name is Kaylee and this is Burkana Star. Uh, today for you, I am going to do something special for the month of July. I will be actually pulling uh, three of my runes, telling you what they mean, and three tarot cards. Just burning some sage. And my dog doesn't like it, so she's running away. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So for mid-July for Aries, what do we have going on? Algis is your first rune. This is a rune of life, protection. It is the elk's antlers, the sedge grass. It keeps you safe by keeping space around you. Next we have Perth. Uh, next we have Perth. Er, there we go. Perth is the symbol of a cup that you would use to cast lots and, you know, games of chance, right? It symbolizes luck, but it also symbolizes uh if you are able to see things from a higher perspective, um, you'll be more successful. So you can see things happening in your life as good luck or bad luck, or you can see it as blessings and challenges very specific to your path right now and the level of initiation that you're going through. And finally, ooh, Ingus. Ingus. Ooh, this is. It represents. This is kind of dark, but it represents the castrated male. It actually is a feminine rune symbolizing uh, the gestation period that is required for power to reach its maturation um so with everything when uh, a woman is impregnated there's a nine month gestation period every other animal in the animal kingdom there is a gestation period for the seed to reach its fruition as a bean so all powers in the universe go through this same thing so essentially what these three runes are saying is you're in a time right now of either good luck, bad luck, either way, it's an initiation phase. You're protected by spirit as long as you keep space about you and continue to act with right action. And um, be patient because you must complete the last cycle before you can move on to the next one, but this definitely indicates new beginnings. So that, those are your runes, Aries. Exciting. Exciting. What new beginnings is Aries up to? Woo! I just put up my candle. <laughs> What have we got going on for you? For the month of July 2020. Okay, that's a big chunk. Oppression. This card has come out a lot. The Ten of Wands. This is a card of Sagittarius. It is ruled by Saturn. Anytime Saturn is there, Saturn... Okay. So you hear this thing where planets are malefic or benev benevolent, right? Um, the thing with that is there's no force in this universe that is truly, truly m malefic, especially when it comes to the planets. Saturn definitely makes people nervous um, because it brings restriction and lessons in karma. However, all of these lessons are meant to A, put you on the right path and B, grow. You're meant to grow. Also, because this is a 10, oh, 
too bright. There we go. Because this is a 10, it also indicates completion of something, the end of something. And I just pulled the one of the runes for new beginnings. So keep that in mind. Um, another, sorry, another message of Ingwa's is uh, the dead and the, the completed things that we cut away um, help fertilize the ground for the new. So there's important lessons that you're learning right now, Aries. Woo! Ah. Oh. Oh. Wow! Okay, so the Emperor just uh, flew out at me. Aries, what's up? This is your card! <laughs> uh, the Emperor knows all all about beginnings and the other thing that came out was the king of swords the king of swords is two deacons of aquarius and one deacon of capricorn so this is very much about um <sighs> wow so these three cards how they're laying right now we have the emperor who is completing some cycles and the King of Swords. So the Emperor, this is definitely, definitely your energy. Um, and Aries, uh, you have to close a chapter before you can continue with your new chapter. That is the biggest message here. Um, yeah, so the King of Swords, this is someone who, it could be influencing you, or it could be Part of your own energy that is uh, coming through right now. Essentially the king of swords, he has a sword in one hand and a sickle in the other to indicate he's not afraid to cut things out that don't serve him and he focuses on his, um, his worldly desires as well. Uh, he's not afraid to work. <laughs> So that is a pretty, pretty excellent mid-month spread. Aries, definitely, definitely, definitely remember that things in the universe don't happen to you. They happen for you. And the more you can harness that idea and that energy of um, this is for my best good and for my highest path, you'll be successful in your endeavors. And the one... <laughs> The endeavors that aren't successful are there to teach you lessons so that you can grow. All right, Aries, that was your mid-month reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely hit like, subscribe, and please let me know how this resonates for you. I'm very curious to get some feedback. So thank you very much. Have a good day.